I've also got videos on all of these topics that dive a little deeper into each portion that we're talking about. And I'm going to list those in the description down below for you to check out once you're done today's video. So back to clicking on rectangular, it's going to allow us to specify the corner. So we're just going to create another viewport over here and we'll just end it somewhere around there. So you can see it's shown the entire model space. We're just going to zoom into the portion that we're interested in. Say we want this one here to be a zoom in of our kitchen area. You can set it to a specific scale by clicking this little arrow here and displaying all of the scales you've got in your drawing. Now this upper one is at 1 8 equals uh, one foot, I believe. So we're going to zoom this one here in a little bit. And let's say we go up to three eighths equals one foot. You can see that's a little bit too zoomed in. So let's go to one quarter. So double clicking inside our viewport allows us to move it around by holding in the right or the center mouse click button or the mouse wheel. You can click that into pan or you can type pan into the command line to move your drawing around. Once we've centered it in kind of the position we'd like, you can simply double click outside of the viewport and double click inside to activate it, outside to deactivate it. You can also simply just click the model or paper space tab here and that'll activate or deactivate your viewport. So now you can see we've got another viewport set and it's showing the same objects just at a different scale and extent than the other viewport. 